What's up, my comic book brothers and my comic book sisters from another mister? Today, we're going to do a comic book review of Berserker, issue number 11. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue where we left off in the last issue with Berserker. B, Unut, and Diana and Caldwell and gang are in the Saudi Arabian desert, retrieving the artifact, this eagle, bird, talon looking thing that will give Berserker's mortality. As he discovers it and retreats from the ground, this really large bird figure envelops him, so to speak. And now these mystery military men are showing up. And I believe my theory is they have to be working with Caldwell somehow because when they land, the guns are not pointed at him. And this other military brother is just looking at him like, what the heck is going on? As we go into this panel right here, that bird figure impales Unut and it's looking like it's about to give him mortality as Berserker is in this metamorphosis state or something like that. And he's just screaming in pain. I imagine so because maybe his powers are leaving him or it's being sucked into this bird or what. But there's a satellite link away, they intercept and now they're transforming that energy from Berserker into this other unit over here but it's too much to handle they try to modulate it and it's too late for all that i don't know what that unit is i believe that's coddle's base but either way berserker's power seems or appears to be going somewhere else and i'm doing the best i can to explain this issue but one thing is clear about this issue is berserker has his godlike power he wants it gone Caldwell wants it and he wants to discover it by interviewing Berserker so that he can use his powers to make an army of men with Berserker's godlike power for his own personal agenda or the government's agenda. So now that a tap has been established with this interception, what are they doing now? Well, Diana is communicating telepathically to Berserker and Berserker asked him, what are you doing? And she tells him speaking with intent, which is a reference to the last issue. And Unut B tells her no. And she's like, no, but I want to, I need to. And now she wants to understand, but this understanding that she's trying to do is getting her sucked up higher bringing her closer to B and this bird-like figure that I don't know if this is another transfer of energy or if, if B's energy and abilities is getting sucked out. Now hers is too because her his abilities was transferred to her. That was established a couple issues ago as well. So Cotto is getting excited as he walks up to his men and one of his lieutenants or soldiers like, sir, good to see you. Thank you for coming. Are you ready? It's time is of the essence. So he goes in. He's like, yeah, it's time. So they got the tap. So that tap they were talking about earlier where they intercepted Berserker's energy is now energized in this sphere waiting for Caldwell. So Berserker is trying to communicate with Diana and she's like, it's OK. It's the only way I, this is ha this has to be done. Whatever that means, I don't know. Caldwell is ready for this unit to be fired up and it gets fired up at last. And his other brother's like, yo, you know what? Shut it down. Caldwell's location, whatever they're doing, I want to stop because even he doesn't know what they're doing, but I get the sense and he obviously knows it is not good. And my personal theory is whoever these men are, maybe he's selling that secret berserker's ability godlike ability because they went into his mind to see the origin of it and even though it's not clear it, we just know it came from millions of years ago he wants that ability and that power for his own personal army so as this metamorphosis is about to end with the eagle and he takes this <laughs> you know this thing that impels berserker it just looks funny to me if you know you know so as they get dropped down unut is like Diane, do you see it? Do you see the, you know, the purpose? You know, and all she talks about telepathically is, is a thousand paths of lightning. It made me. I see it like pollen exploding into the wind across the universe with purpose. Alien technology spreading. Okay, if it is alien technology, all this buildup for alien technology. I mean, myself personally, I was expecting more, but maybe we got one more issue to really see what this is all about. Because, like I said, ah, uh, it's it's not the easiest issue to explain, but visually and action-wise, this issue does not disappoint. But one thing is clear: he wants to be mortal, and Cobble wants his abilities. And I think Cobble sold the secrets to another agency. They paid him boatloads of money and now they're there and Kevlar, this brother soldier right here, is not liking what's going on. So he calls for level 3 support to blanket the perimeter. And now he sees Berserker and Dyna incoming and this fear that works for Caldwell is like, yep, yeah, well, <laughs> they're coming for sure. Impact coming. Brace for impact. So as they land, Unut asks Diana, are you okay? Are you sure? And we see that artifact, that eagle, bird, whatever that is, artifact that does give Berserker mortality. 
So now we see Coddle absorbing all the power, screaming, and he, and that reminds me of Berserker issue number one nine when Berserker met, you know, went back to the origin of his creation, so to speak, and he just went into this blind rage, and that's what Coddle is doing in this panel, going into a blind rampage, rage, disemboweling, eyes coming out, ripping people in half, ripping out jaws and hands and wrists, and biting like Berserker did in Berserker issue number nine. It's an absolute bloodbath. So now they know his energy levels are off the charts. The storage banks can't take it. And now the energy is everywhere in his facility where he's building up those soldiers. And now everything is just a bloodbath and all hell's gone loose. Shit has hit the fan, so to speak. And now those soldiers that he's been creating he, for his own little, you know, for his government and gender or whatnot. Now they appear to have Berserker's powers and everything is just activated. And it's so Kiever's like, Eagle Team, let's do this. Let's put this bofo down. So as they go out and soldiers start approaching approaching berserker and diana diana asked b you know you're bleeding how do you feel and he's like i think i finally feel mortal now feeling mortal and actually being mortal could possibly be two different things and we better hope it's two different things because as Caldwell approaches and with that rage they know they are fucked and that is the end of this issue of berserker issue number 11. like i said i try to explain it the best way i can i think that one thing is clear Berserker may or may not have his powers no more, but Coddle definitely has his powers. And why this happening or how this issue or how this comic book is going to end, I don't know. But to me, this feels like a little bit of a filler issue just so we can get to issue number 12. But I definitely dig the artistry here and the action as well. Definitely worth it, but a very quick read. So with all that being said, Berserker issue number 11. What do you guys think of the comic book? Comment below. Let me know. And let me know your theories as well. If you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Don't be shy. Don't be stingy. Here are rated comics to do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.